November the 16th, today's wisdom, the true justice. A just weight and balance are the Lord's, all the ways of the bag are his work. Proverbs 16, 11. In this verse, the wise affirms that justice belongs to God and is also his work. Exercise. How to become just again? God is just. It means that we cannot either manipulate nor corrupt him. In the beginning, God created man with the image of his justice so that man could resemble him in that justice. But from the fall, the image of the justice of God in man was altered and injustice took over. From henceforth, treating God as unjust because of what we personally and humanity are undergoing is to be even more unjust because of the ignorance about the truth and justice of God. God will be perfectly just if he would fire up the entire humanity. I say it again, perfectly just. Anytime we let our eyes be absorbed by our pains, it is the justice of God we are losing sight of. Thought adapted from the movie La Caban. Just balances, just weight shall ye have. Leviticus 19.36 God gave this law to the people of Israel to reveal him his justice, so that he too will be just and the reference of justice for all the nations. If in the past the law was unable to make anybody just, it is not today that it will. For the law made nothing perfect. Hebrews 7.19a Man having lost the landmark of the justice of God from the fall, no matter his endeavors and good works, the quantity of his tithes and offerings, he will never be able to reach the standard of the justice of God. Abraham believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Genesis 15.6 God was paving the way for justice, faith, not works. Just balances, just ways are for the eternal. It means that if someone wants to be just, he has to refer exclusively to God who wants to make every man just. What kind of justice have we learned from our family and community? What kind of justice do we live and promote daily? Jesus says, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. Luke 18, 14. It's the conclusion of the parable of the Pharisee and the tall collector praying in the temple. To the tall collector who knew he was guilty and deserved the punishment of God, went back justified rather than the Pharisee who was praying, pointing to others, and relying on his own justice. 3. This conclusion means for Jesus that nobody will be justified on the basis of his good works. Truth, justification is obtained exclusively by faith, not by works. Application, to give up on my own justice and to receive by faith the justification of God. Verse to memorize, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Titus 3, 5. Let's pray together. Father, I give up on the feeling of my own justice. By faith, I receive your justice. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's reading, Psalm 76-80, Proverbs 16, Revelation 4-6. You are blessed.